This is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Zoltan Vasi and Ivan Sokolov. This is a game from Hugo Vez Open, played in 1995. Zoltan Vasi had white pieces and he started with e4. Ivan Sokolov played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Spanish game, a6, the most played move, bishop to a4, knight to f6. Almasi castled kingside and Sokolov grabbed the pawn on e4. d4, b5, bishop to b3, d5, d takes on e5, bishop to e6. This is the popular line seen many times in the past. White move, c3 is the most played move. Bishop to e3 was played, bishop to e7, c3, and Sokolov castled kingside too. Knight from b to d2, queen to d7, bishop to c2, f5, pawn takes pawn on f6, unpassan, knight takes on f6, queen to b1, intending knight to g5, attacking the pawn on h7, king to h8, knight to g5, three attackers on the pawn on h7, only two defenders, how would you defend the pawn? on h7. This is the critical position of the game. Sokolo played knight to g4. An attack is the best defense sometimes. Knight from g to f3, returning the knight home. If knight takes on h7, one line goes like this. Rook to f5, queen to d1, knight takes on e3, f takes on e3, g6. This position files black. And let's go back. In this position, if bishop takes on f5, then it's even worse for white. Bishop takes on f5, forking the queen and the knight on h7. Back to our game. Almasi played knight to f3, queen to d6, rook to e1. The position is about equal. Maybe. But something very unexpected happened. Anyway, what would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Sokolov sacrificed the exchange. Player with the white pieces, Almasi, couldn't believe his eyes. What is going on? Knight takes rook on f3, what else? Defending the pawn on h2. Knight from c to e5. Knight to d2. If bishop takes on h7, knight takes on f3, check. g takes on f3, queen takes on h2. This is unpleasant for white, isn't it? Back to our game, knight to d2, removing the target. Knight to c4, threatening to take on h2. Knight to f1, defending the pawn. Rook to f8. Black is the exchange down. But look at the white rook on a1. How useful is that rook? So, black has a better activity of the pieces. The game continued. Bishop to d1 attacking the knight on g4. Knight from c takes on e3. f takes on e3. What else? If knight takes on e3, queen takes on h2, check. If rook takes on e3, knight takes on e3. Back to our game, so we have f takes on e3. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this awesome move? Kaboom! No, 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 this is not the move. This is the move. Rook takes on f1 check. The second exchange sacrifice, removing the defender of the h2 pawn. King takes rook. Queen takes pawn on h2. Bishop to f3. Knight to e5. Queen to d1. Bishop to h4. Rook to c1. Black to move. Black played a move when white resigned and the move is bishop to g4. White resigned. Why? Thomas says that the white resigned because he was afraid of the third exchange sacrifice. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Queen takes on d5. Queen to h1 check. King to e2. Queen takes on g2 check. 
King to d1. Bishop takes on f3 check. What now? Queen takes on f3. Queen takes queen check. And I think we can stop here. Generally, rooks are stronger than bishops. But this game is definitely an exception. What do you think of this game? Thank you for watching and bye for now.